Hello, hello. Welcome back to Day Shift at Freddy's 2. I won't be playing for long today because I've got things to do. Um, I'm sorry for having a few days off. I have been sick. As you may know if you've watched my uh, Help Wanted 2 videos and my South Park videos. Um, so I've been taking a little break, but I'm back. Things should be going back to normal now. Um, check out the new Discord server, which will be linked in the description. Uh, and in the pinned comment. And, uh... Yeah, don't worry, you're not deaf. It's just that the copyright reasons, I can't play the audio that's playing in the background right now. But I'll be back soon, don't worry. So become the day man. I don't know what that means. But we're gonna become the day man. Hey guys, can I talk to you? Oh, I must be withered Freddy then. I can't talk to them. I am withered Freddy. <gasps> Shadow Doge! I can't speak to him either. Marionette. Can't speak to her either. Why can't I talk to anyone? Shadow Doge! Oh, he's speaking to me in binary. Oh, one zero one zero one one zero 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 zero. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother. Okay. All he wanted to tell me, I'm gonna have to translate that. I don't know binary. Uh, hello? Oh. Oh, I gotta find this suit, I guess? Hey, balloon boy. Is that eyes? That looks like eyes peeking at me. Is there a purple guy there? Shadow something? I, I don't know what that is. Okay, so whatever I need is not in here then, anyway. Uh, I found the suits. Is it still got silly putty in it? This one's got blood coming out of it, which is a bit concerning. That was the Spring Bonnie suit. Is Dave dead? I hope Dave isn't dead. Is someone in that toilet? That toilet's locked. It's occupied. Oh! Purple guy and Dave! Wait, Dave- <laughs> Purple guy and me. You're ready to face the Nightman. No, I wanted to follow- Front door is locked so you don't leave and cause another national disaster, you dumb fucking baby. Management. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Hi, Mango. Oh my god. Is that Nicolas Cage? <laughs> okay. As the Dayman, you have access to light-based spells to use against the Nightman. Alright, let's kill him. Light powers. Pure light. The Nightman. Yes. Oh damn, he hits back just as hard. It's like a weird Pokemon battle against uh, someone that looks like he's a vampire from Buffy. Tell me he doesn't look like a vampire from Buffy. Uh, uh pure light. You. I missed. I thought I was the master of karate! Come on, he's hitting every time! We're weak, Freddy! This isn't the Marvel epic battle you thought it was gonna be! He's slain! I win! Freddy slash Dayman was victorious! You have. Yeah! <laughs> what he said! Oh my god, you exploded him, Freddy! Oh, Chica, hey! Toy Chica! Hello. My- I'm sorry, what? Is this some ship I didn't know about? Withered Freddy cross Toy Chica? The demon! Oh, it's a doggo! I want a doggo! Bye, doggo! Bye now. Bye. Welp, this is desolate. No, it's not. It's a doggo. Homestay. I guess I live in a shed. I, wait, I live in a shed? Oh. Aw, oh, shit. Am I going by a doggo? Yeah, that sounds like me. Focus, Kenny. No, I want a doggo. It's very late. It's time for you to get some shed eye, I reckon. No, let's buy a doggo. Let's buy it. It's right there. It's just buy now. No, don't. Ugh. There is a doggo in my wardrobe. I think I did buy one. Isn't this Evan Afton's room? It's 3.07 a.m. What's on the wall there? Picture of me, I think? And some person? 
and I think that's bread bear, but I can't tell. Oh no, that's bread bear. It's just from a very weird angle. It's that weird. And I have a doggo with a pizza. This is a great room. Ah, time to get some shut eye. At least you'll get a lion since you and Dave are going to work late tomorrow. Oh yeah, I forgot we're doing that. Good night, Kenny. Thank you. I want that dog still, though. <coughs> the hell is that wake up call? Is there a clown in my room? I think there's a clown in my room. Good morning, Kenny. Ah, uh, isn't it a grand afternoon? You're already almost two hours late for work. <coughs> and apparently, Dave knew that. <laughs> is it oh, Dave? Boy. Hey! Orbachine Man. <laughs> yeah, it's you, Orbachine Man. How the fuck are you, Aubergine? Oh, please, old sport. Okay. Aubergine was my father. Alright. Call me a big, big baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are we ready to pill up our big plans? No, it's almost 2 p.m., man. It sure is, old sport. It is. I wouldn't be surprised if phonies called you nine times today. It probably has. More of 20. My phone says that I have 90 missed calls. 90. God, he's persistent. Stop cack. <laughs> okay. The show should have already started by now. It's time to show all these mugs of work. Oh, hell I'll yeah. Meet you at work, old sport. In the meantime, enjoy your meme. Oh, yes, I love his memes. He, he sent me an eggplant. Or is that an aubergine? Okay. That's just an eggplant. No, it is an eggplant. Okay. I thought so. Oh, he's calling me again. Oh, Hello. Sport. Yeah? I regret to inform you that I have not, in fact, sent you a hot off the press stamp, May May. May May. <laughs> yeah, go on. I have sent you a picture of my father. Your father was an eggplant? Sorry about that, old sport. I understand that this may be traumatizing for you. A little bit, yeah. I might need counseling now. My insides are on fire. <laughs> I'm gonna sneak it to work and destroy the candra foot. Oh, what a babe. Sport. In case Pony tries to show it to the police later. Great. I'll meet you later in the safe room. Oh, revoir, babe. Oh, he called me babe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our wow, purples. Huh. Dave is a fucking delinquent. <laughs> a hooligan. Uh, a babe. Time to go to work, I guess. He's a good partner in crime. He's covering my tracks for me. It's a lot different to last time where he fucked me over. You arrived to work late, hours later. It's time. It is now 3pm. Time to start your day. Hi! Employee! You're three hours late! What's the meaning of this? Um... Plotting. I have business to deal with. You were having a lie-in, weren't you? Yes. No, oh, yes! That's an answer. Gosh darn it, at the employee. Lucky for you, I got Jimbo to wear your suit. Actually, come to think of it, I haven't seen Dave around here either today. I don't think too much on that. Uh, I want to see the janitor dance. He's over there in party room too. Oh hell yeah! How plans working, Dave? Am I gonna look at his little face inside the thread vest too? Beautiful. Hey, Mr. Look at Hi, me. Jimbo. I'm bear now. <laughs> He's so happy. He has no idea. Are you proud, father? Oh, fa- oh, 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 abort mission, abort mission! Uh, what? Jimbo, why aren't you dancing? This suit feels slightly sticky. Is it safe to dance in this thing? Don't think about it, Jimbo. Don't think oh, about I it too much. Yes, yes, dance to your heart's content. I wouldn't if okay, I was you. here I go. Oh, well, he's dead. Yep. Bleeding, bleeding, pain, vast discomfort, pain, vast discomfort. Oh god, this is uncomfortable at all. Uh oh boy. Oh, I oh 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 no, I <laughs> yeah <laughs> Jimbo's me uh, uh. Calm down everyone, Jimbo just had a bit of a fall. 
He'll be perfectly fine. Yeah, don't worry about him bleeding out all over the floor. Jimbo will not be fine, Lance. Uh, uh, yeah, I think Jimbo's dead. Well, rip. Oh, is the puppet watching me? It says we remember. Oh, that's nice. Everyone leave the restaurant in an orderly line. So, uh, Except you, employee. Please, come with me. Oh no, I'm gonna get murdered. Uh, but I don't want to do that, so... Right now. Okay. I'm coming. Hi, Scott. Well. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. I could already tell just by that well. Well. Here we are. Yeah. Here we are. Employee. Let me tell you something. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a very good boss. I run this place every single day. I can usually see through bullshit quite easily. You're not that good of a boss. Last location, you threw me under the bus pretty hard, and I could have been innocent, but luckily for you, I was guilty. From the moment you got here, every damn thing that could have gone wrong has gone wrong. True. You lured off kids and killed them with Dave. <laughs> I did do that. You tampered with the robots and lied to me several times. Yep, I did do that. Pretty certain you even had something to do with that suit going off during the show. You can't prove that. There's no evidence to prove that. But I am. I'd certainly ex it'd ex certainly explain why you arrived so late today. You didn't want to wear that suit. You rigged it to go off. Well... Bravo, Sherlock. Bravo. <laughs> Let me tell you something, employee. I can see right through Dave. Everyone can. That guy's transparent. <laughs> no, he's purple. He screams fake. Old sport this and old sport that. I mean, come on. Who says old sport? Leave him alone. He's artificial, and I can see that a mile away. But you, you've killed, tampered, lied, and stolen. And the best part? You've destroyed every lick of evidence. Did, did they really destroy all of... My my things? All of that footage? What a what a legend. All of the camera footage from this week is missing. I know you or Dave stole it just before the show. There isn't a damn thing that I can show to the police. <gasps> yes. You're cunning. In a way that I've never seen before. Employee. I've gotta hand it to you. It takes the truth to fool me, or close to it. And you've played me for a goddamn fool. Damn right I have. You're a wolf employee. A suited predator. A wolf in sheep's clothing. It's more than a warning. Sorry. <laughs> I, I couldn't help myself. Set it off came to mind. I get it. I get it. <laughs> or rather, an orange in a bear suit. I don't get you, employee. You've overslept this morning. But I don't get how you can even sleep at all. Like a baby, actually. Pretty easily. Are you a father employee? No. As if I tell you that. No, I'm not a father. Well, I am. Yeah, we just saw your son die. I, I know you are. I'm gonna let you in on something that you haven't considered. It's Christmas in a month. Did you know that? I don't know what reality you're living in, but it definitely isn't Christmas in a month. I don't tend to stare at my calendar that often. Right, of course not. I guess child murderers just aren't festive people. Nope. Well, picture something that you haven't considered. Ten parents are going to wake up on Christmas morning this year. They're going to walk downstairs to their living rooms, and you know what they're going to see? Unopened presents, under their Christmas trees. Those presents will never be opened. Those presents won't ever be touched. That's where they'll stay, under the Christmas tree. Sounds like a really dark Christmas poem. But yeah, you're right. Stagnant and untouched, those presents will remain still and dead. Doesn't that sound familiar? No. <laughs> fine, fine, I get it. Oh, boo-hoo, I'm chaotic evil. That's the thing, employee. Unlike you, employee, 
I had to meet those ten parents. I had to look them in the eyes and lie to them. Well, that's on you. You chose to lie. I had to tell them that there's still hope that their kids can be found. I had to resist the urge to tell them to look inside the robots so they could see their kids again one last time. That's right. Don't play me for a fool. I can smell them, employee. They're rotting, and I can smell them. Yeah, I always thought that about FNAF. Like, did they never smell the the actual corpses rotting in the robots? Because it's got to, like, stink, surely. Like, it, it doesn't matter if they're covered in that lot. It's got to smell. Like, you've got to still be able to smell them. Yeesh, too much information. Oh, I'm so sorry. Am I turning your stomach? Is this too much for you? My, aren't we a sensitive child murderer? <laughs> Damn, okay. Did you ever... F did you even find out what those five children's names were? I did. I can... I can name you the original five, though. Uh, we got... Fritz, Cassidy, Gabriel, Jeremy, and Susie. But the other five, no, I can't give you those. I've been hearing those names non-stop for the last three days. Those parents know what happened to their kids. There's been two funerals so far. I attended the both of them. They lowered empty caskets into the ground. You and Dave didn't even leave anything for them to bury. Well, we did. They're just in the suits and you won't get them out. We actually left the bodies scattered. You think that matters now? You murdered small children, employee. Do you think they were even old enough to understand what you were doing to them? I hope not. I cannot believe you've been sleeping. I haven't slept all week. Employee, I need to know. Please, be honest with me. For once in your life, do you feel any remorse for what you've done? Any at all? Even a twinge of regret? Uh, we both know that I don't. I fought as much. I see the truth now, employee. I can see what you are. You're soulless. I can see it in your eyes. We all can. Where is this going? I'm so curious. And you are? Humans don't have phones for heads. I'm more human than you'll ever be. Hell, the robots here are more human than you are. Especially after you put people into them. You're a monster. I can see through that concealer. We all can. You have scars. Deep, deep scars. Scars from an accident that nobody in their right mind could survive. Where is this going? I am so immersed. You look like you're decomposing. Whatever you are, you aren't human. Perhaps you once were, but you're certainly not now. Oh, and before I forget, you're fired. I'm done with you. Never come back. Well, well that was to be expected. <laughs> now, get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> okay. Adios. Ah. Dave, hey! Hey there, old sport. Hey! What's with well the orange grimace you have going on? Well, I just got fired. Finally just fired me and told me to never come back. Phone man fired me. He's done with me. Oh, he doesn't look happy. Right? Yeah. Like that old sport. Oh, Not you don't? One bit. Oh. Are you mad at me or are you mad at him? Who are you mad at? This is his fault. Oh, sport. him. Interesting. I think it's time. What? Time for what? What are we doing? Look, this isn't something I predicted did happen. My plan involved finishing up today and going straight to Vegas. Yeah, I remember that was the plan. What? It seems that this is bothering you. Yeah, it is a little bit. Oh, What's the plan? Sport. We've had some real misadventures together. We really have. Are you going to kill me? We've killed ship. Tampered with ship. Stolen ship. Are you going to kill me? Where are you going with this, Dave? We've fucked up a lot of ship. Old sport. Uh-huh. Uh, those were all just petty schemes. Yeah. We murdered kids, man. That ain't petty. 
For petty shit, it sure was a lot that of fun. It was old sport. That it was. Yeah. I say that we have one last grand performance. We're gonna pull one last stuff. Is he gonna fuck over phone man? Because I'm down for that. We can go out with a bang. Are we going out together? We'll Partners in crime? Face. Yes! I like where this is going. But what about Vegas? Worry not, old sport. Vegas will still be there when we're done here. Now, let me fill you in. Basically, yes. remember what we did in Colorado. Yeah, I do. You mean murdering children? Not especially, no. I tampered with the robots. Oh, I that part. Up, bed and shit over and wreak havoc. Yeah, and then he threw me under the bus. I remember it. I remember I got arrested the day after. Right, old sport. Glad your brain isn't spaghetti now. After all that shit. Thanks. Just between the two of us. I have big fucking plans, man. What if history is always to repeat itself? That's your favorite thing to do. We can bring a different robot this time. I have two perfect ones in mind. Oh. They're sitting in the parts and service room. Let's go give them a visit. What are they? What monstrosities are they this time? Oh, Foxy and Beepy. Here we are, old sport. Yeah. The, old, the salt of the earth. The cream of the crop. Okay. As you can see, I'll pick the two optimum choices. I can see that. Baboon child and demolished facts. Baboon child? I thought he was... <laughs> Baboon... <laughs> Baboon... <laughs> I thought it was Balloon Boy, not Baboon Child. No auto robots would cut it this time. Oh no. We're going all out, old sport. Alright. I calculated some shit and determined that these are the two robots most likely to traumatize his own face. Yeah, but he really likes Foxy, so I don't think Foxy's the right choice. It's time, old sport. Years from now, they're gonna remember this shit fest ass. The bite of 87. Holy shit, the bite of 87. You've been a little son of a gun to this point. I'll Is this the bite of 87? These pants holes I beautified. Ah, uh, I only this one. have the time to get one robot done for tomorrow. Okay, well, Go I ahead. want Balloon Boy. Sport. Baboon choose Boy. One. Baboon Boy. I choose Baboon Boy. Reason being is I'm pretty sure from when he was talking to the kids earlier, like in a past episode when he was opening up the actual restaurant, he, he really didn't like the kids. It was very fucking clear. Whereas we know he's got some weird sexual fetish going on towards the fox, so it's definitely the toddlers. Ah, an excellent choice. Thank Make you. Character. No oh, perfect. Sport. Don't we all? Ain't that the goddamn troll? <laughs> I know I sure do. Yeah, I I smashed him up. I got fired. As soon as you leave, old sport. Perfect. I think we're all set. If you'd like to ask me something before you go, now's the time. All right. Can are we still going to Vegas, Papa? You bet your ass we are. Sportsy. Yes. Tomorrow Sportsy. night, we're gonna be up to our asses in blackjack and dokers. Nice. <laughs> Tell me more about Henry. Oh, he was a really swell guy. Really? He helped me out after the company bought Fred Bear's family diner. Oh. Helped a lot of kids to keep us in the black. Oh. Let me tell you. He that was an like a swell guy. An honest. You should have seen the stunts that this son of a bitch bought. Ever hear of the Freddy's blow up or journal incident? I, I did. I don't know what happened there. 17 though. fucking people ended up hospitalized in the aftermath. Henry is the reason the company had to start putting cameras in the bathroom. What the hell did he do? Let me tell you, if I'm not listening to your solace, he's devil incarnate. Oh, God. What? I'll end this conversation here. After all, it's rude to talk about someone who's listening. He's listening? How is he listening? Tell me about the dino. Who's oh, worked there? Not that many people. Before Freddy's bought it. Henry and I worked the day shift. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Go we on. had a quick name, Ronaldo. Oh, well, he's Pretty here. Pretty sure he got a job, but Freddy after Fred Bears closed down. Yeah, he's still, you know, being Pretty a cannibal. Knew how to use human meat effectively. Yeah, yeah, we know this. We also had Night Guard. 
but I don't remember a lot about him. He had a mustache, if I recall correctly. Am I the night god? Do I be the night god? He got stuffed into one of us in a suit, I think. I must be the Henry night god. Me that he walked on a guy dying in one of the suits right in front of him. He didn't even put the poor bastard out of his misery. I think I'm the night god because the the phone guy, phone man, said that um I survived something that no one in their right mind should have survived and that I was concealing scars, deep scars or something. So I think that I am that night god who must have supposed to have died in the suit, but somehow I've survived. And I'm like a walking corpse or something. He just left and left the poor fucker right away by himself in the bloody suit. Yeah, I definitely think I'm the night god. Because also there was that picture and the guy in the picture that was in the back of, uh, like, after and, uh, Henry looked... Like he was orange, too, so I think I'm the night god. Unable to even move, let alone scream out for help. I tell you, even by my standards, Henry was one cruel fucker. Yeah, he strikes me as that, too. Uh... How do you feel about a Freddy's horror attraction? How do you feel about starring in Five Nights at Freddy's 3? I'm gonna be honest, Squinting. old sport. <laughs> yeah? If I end up as an exhibit in a horror attraction, as a rotting corpse, stuck in a green bunny costume, I'ma be real pissed. <laughs> Understandable. Okay, I'm gonna go home and rest up. Yes, go home and rest up, old sport. We have a big day ahead of us, and I don't want you to miss a second of it. I wouldn't have Goodbye, missed a second of it for the world. Sport. Goodbye, I love now, you. I do not eat you. I do love you. I love you, man. <laughs> Thanks for all of the help. I think he heard me. <laughs> I love you too. See you at the party, old sport. See you at the party. See you on the flip side. You arrived to work three hours late today. Your night... Your night of rigging paid off quite well, and Dave's cunning plan came to fruitation. Fruition. <laughs> One of them. You and Dave murdered Jimbo, the janitor, with a springlock suit. Shortly after, Scott cut the bullshit and told you what he really thought of you. He fired you and told you to never, never to return. However, Dave reached his hand out to you earlier and offered to help you get revenge. Dave let you choose between Balloon Boy and Foxy, knowing that those two robots had the potential to traumatize Phone Guy. You chose BB, and now Dave is working on that robot for the party tomorrow. Even though you were fired and told never to come back, you still plan to. You always come back, don't you? Am I, Afton? Ten innocent children and a janitor. Was it worth it? You don't seem to regret a single moment of what you've done. The end justifies the means. Okay, please step back, Kenny. You're... A little too close for my liking. You're making me nervous now. You know, what phone guy said to you earlier wasn't too far off. You do sort of have that corpse look going on. As if you're rotting both on the outside and on the inside. If you even have an inside. Either way, what's done is done. I hope you're happy with the world you've created. Tomorrow is yet another day. See you at the party. And with that creepy ending, I'm going to leave that one here. It is getting intense. It is getting woof. Well, I hope you liked. And if you like, leave a like and enjoy and subscribe for more. And don't forget to check out the Discord channel, Discord server, channel, server, one of them. That will be linked in the description down below. Uh, and also will be in the pinned comments down below. So, yeah. Adios.